is it a possibility in Turkey for early elections? Well, it is. We have uh, talked about this in the previous program, and I would like to talk about this a little bit extended. Now, as I said, uh, in the Turkish uh, Turkey's problem is not about the economy or the poverty; it's about the morality, the honesty, and we lie, we steal. Imagine that uh, if I ask you or somebody is like a family gatherings and to whom have you elected for, you cannot decently say it's AKP or JP or any other parties. And uh, somebody is now bringing a, a f buying a from farmer one euro and bringing it before you into your onto your plate like ten euro. Now you starting saying why why not and so on and so forth. You are not honest. You only uh, try to benefit from these kind of things. The corruption is everywhere in the morality, in the in the character of the people, everything else, and that's the real problem. If the morality has been also corrupted, a long-standing government has no chance but uh, to go or to accept a snapshot elections. Now this is going to also happen in Turkey too. Uh, poverty and uh, the economic problems are only the results of. Turkey's corruption in morality, in the character, in the decencies. Uh, and uh, not only this government, but any government has no long standing sh uh, shot against this. So now what's going to happen? Of course, there will be something to happen. We will see more and more up uprising from today uh, before the uh, new year will happen. That's granted. I believe that the industrial, uh, heavy industry uh, sector is going to start uprise because I believe that there will be also problems over there. Uh, even though the government is going to reduce the taxes for that, it means 26, 27 will be worse than even 24, 25 then, uh, in order to uh, ensure that they can stay more on the power, believing that the economy will recover, which is not going to happen like this because the tax then will go down. Then it will result with the money printing and that's going to also increase the inflation which is going to have a big and big um, effect on the uh, election results later on so all these solutions for Erdogan is unfortunately let's say and for the country uh, unbearable in short and long term so Erdogan is I think he's done Erdogan is gone just i think we are just seeing him as a body but in terms of governance he is not governing anymore i think he's just standing there doing nothing and um, you know in a harsh uh, sea you know the, the 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 ship is swinging from one side to another side i think he's swinging now in the in the domestic politics there is nothing he can do so yeah, I mean, 24, uh, this is going to happen like this. 25, I believe this uprise will also continue. So unless all the leaders of the sectors are coming together and going to a government and start pressurizing on an early snapshot elections, I think this is what he's going to do. He's going to reduce the taxes for the hmm, industry and the farmers and others. And while uh, this is going to give them at least uh, some kind of bread um, to take forward, the tax uh, revenue will be decreased for 25 and 26, and 20, which is going to have a much more bigger uh, problem for him for the elections of that time. So either this way or the, the other way, I think he's done. Um, we will see if the early elections will happen. I will assume that he will do everything to not make it happen with his power, which he has, to be honest, to some level. But it's a possibility. So it's like at this moment, like 50-50 may and may not happen. Depends on the results of his uh, shortcoming uh, precautions against the economic uh, uprising. Uh, but as I said, uh, there is a great possibility that it might happen also. But we will see it's, for me at this moment, it's 50-50, to be honest. But 27 or 28 or 28 elections, if, I, if I'm not wrong, he's gone. I mean, not only in the constitution, because he cannot, shouldn't be elected in the normal way, but even he might be there, he will not be elected. He's gone. He's done. So I, don't, I think the AKP also era is done. 
we will even not hear the uh, AKP era in 30, 20, 32 or 31, whenever it might happen. I don't believe that we will hear them anymore. It's like a, a nap party. It's gone, done. That's why in previous programs I have mentioned a new leadership should and will be arising in Turkey. And I think we will see or hear the signs of it nowadays. So let's see what will happen. Have a nice day. Bye.